baby. I was just listening to I Found Loving. It's your fat back band. Since I found you, I'm in love with you. That one. Yeah. Hello everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my little old journal. As you can see, the fan is on. Because I'm sweating me boobies off. Yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah, well, what's different there then, Lise? Because you're always sweating your little booby woobies off. Yeah, you're right, I am. I told you I went through menopause it never ended. Like the never ending story. You've got to keep hearing that from me. If you don't know who that was, that was Never Ending Story by Lamal. He was in Catch a Goo Goo. Tell you what, you try and beat me at the quiz, all right? You ain't gonna get anything. All them ones there, they're getting, what is it? Mental cups from me, because I beat them, all right? Anyway, so I've got a little haul for you. Um, Callie and me have ordered a couple of bits from Sheen. I think you've already seen. Well, she's got some stuff come through. So she wants to do a haul. I think she might do one tomorrow or Friday, but I don't know when it will be going on because I've got a couple of videos to put on myself back to back um but yeah I've got a Sheen haul as well because do you know what they do crafty so and so's they are Sheen you're crafty so what they do do you mind helicopter you're ruining my video can you hear it in the background how dare it come past my window how dare it hear that pilot get the cups you know what he's gonna get well the thing is what they do, the crafty so-and-sos, this is what they do. Let me tell you what they do. So you buy a few bits and then they entice you, yeah? So what they do, oh, we're going to give you a 30% off voucher. Yeah, so you start adding things in your basket and it was five and then it goes down to like three pounds. Before you know it, you've done 50 quid. So anyhow, anywho, I've done exactly that. I've bought a couple of bits. So I say a couple of bits. I've got one order over there, which I'm going to do... Uh, maybe after this, so I might still be in the same top and same do. I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me, a frog in the old throat. Um, and then I have got another one on order because uh, I've got some bits for holiday. Um, I shan't be telling you about my holiday yet, but just put it this way I've not been for a long time, I really need one, and it's gonna be somewhere very spectacular because. Well, I'm not paying for it. <laughs> but anyway, don't ask me any questions because you just get told you're nosy. Near with a time, all in good time, all in good time. I'll tell you. It was a surprise for me, I can assure you. A big surprise. A huge surprise. And I must admit, I had a smile from there to there. All right? So I bet you're all intrigued now. Ooh, what's going on with Lily Lou's? Anyhow, anywho, before I get on with my charity shop haul, you, you know the time of day. I said, you know the time of day. Hey, look, do the boobies, girls. You know the time of day. Yes, you do. It is that time of day. Now, look, and I told you I did my research. Look, I've even got myself an A4 refill pad with 100 sheets. So I can write down jokes for you lot, which you probably don't appreciate. You probably don't laugh at them. <sighs> could you do this to me, my beautiful subscribers? How could you? Anyway, I need the pen for my 1,227 fags. Face off, but we'll do that in a minute. Let me just turn the page over. Do you know what I mean? Because I can't lose where I am. But here we go. Are you ready? So... The guy who stole my diary just died. My thoughts are with his family. That's good. Un. Don't you tell me it ain't. See, I thought I don't want to get hungry. <coughs> Excuse me. I visited my friend at his new house. He said, Lise, babes, make yourself at home. So I threw him out. I hate having visitors. That is a good one. That's a good one. I'm telling it to you again, it's that good. Visited me friend at his new house. He said, Lise, make yourself at home. So I threw him out. I ain't having visitors. <laughs> Never break someone's heart, all right? Never, all right? Never break someone's heart. They only have one. Now, break their bones instead. 
They have 206 of those buggers. Boom! Anyway, you also know the tap. Just drawn over myself. I have just drawn over my thunder thigh, alright? Actually, I ain't got thunder thighs. As you all seen in my try on. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, as I'm wiping it, it is a wobbling. It is wobbling like blancmange. But who cares? Can't be perfect, can we? Anyway, I thought I didn't bring my glasses in my biodegradable case. Biodegradable case. Never heard anything like it. Anyway, on goes glasses. Thor looks bleed now. Can't see nothing out of them. I'm blind to them when I put them on. It's all that dove cream that I put on my hands, isn't it? Right, anyway. Are you ready for my 1,227 facts? To blow your socks off. What is the end of that little jingle I've made up? Sound like an Ovis ad. Remember the Ovis spread? No, 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 no. No, maybe it weren't Ovis. Maybe I've nicked it from somewhere and my brain's not letting me know which, but it's definitely an advert from the 80s, I'm sure. Who knows? Anyhow. Sorry. Until 1913, children in America could legally be sent by parcel... Post. Oh, sod off. Oh, sod off. Oh, sod off. Right, so in 1913, I was going to be like, Kelly, now listen, I'm shipping you to your Auntie Tammy's. Get inside this box. Look at the bingos. Get inside this box right now. Set a tape up that human being in that box and off it trots. I mean, have you seen the way these parcel force people handle all the parcels? These human beings would have probably got there with about 14 broken bones, been battered and bruised, black eyes, teeth knocked out, all sorts of malarkey. Who does that? And how could it even be legal? How could it even... America, please, you need to tell me this. If I've got any Americans watching this, how the hell could that have been legal? It, 1913, I mean, I mean, you know, you could say it seems a long time ago. But in theory, it weren't really, because you know, life is short, time goes fast. Yeah, you could legally send your kids by parcel post. I've heard it all now. Right, there are 5.9 calories in the glue of a British postage stamp. Right, I'll tell you one thing about the British postage stamp, they taste like S-H-I-T. And after you, when you lick the stamp, you go, <gasps> like that. I mean, some people are a bit more, you know, they'll maybe go on and rub it on. But I've got to admit, they don't taste good. So let me tell you, I'm never licking a stamp again. If you think I'm wasting 5.9 calories on a licking a stamp, you think again. The only thing I'm licking is my Tom stamps. <laughs> oh, it's not in those shoe, like I tell you. Oh, sugar. Right. All the batteries on Earth store just 10 minutes of the world's electricity needs. Who cares? Don't know. Don't care. Don't understand it. I'm thick. Ancient Greek. Oh, we were talking about Greece yesterday, weren't we? Or was it the other time? When was it? I put the video on. Yeah. Ancient Greek democracy. I don't know what democracy is. And like that, so I don't know. Ancient Greek democracy lasted for only 185 years, or if you're posh, years. Just don't say years to me, otherwise I'm running up that bank. You know what happened, don't you? You know what happened. If you watch my videos, if you don't, you know what? You're going to fall out, you need to get on there and look at them, all right? Do I look nice? I'll flap me my eyelids at you all. Yeah, so that is my 1,227 facts. Did you hear the bump on the floor? That was my drum. To blow your socks off. No, black magic. No, is that, is that what it sounds like at the end? Or is it flake? Cadbury's flake. I've just spammed it. I sound like I'm doing Cadbury's flake advert from the 80s. Oh, God. Anyhow. Anywho. Oh, look. You see this hanging behind? I got it from Sheen. 
Now, I've already done that haul, but I haven't uploaded the video yet. But you will see. And then you will see the bits I've got. Look at the finger. Okay. Or did I upload it? I don't think I have. No, I don't remember. I, don't, I can't remember. I've lost my marbles. You all know I'm nuts. Can't help being nuts. Melanie says all the best people are crazy. And I am. I'm absolutely loopy. But anyway, I'm going to move on to me. Uh... Bet you can't do that. I'm going to move on to my, my little all. Now, listen. I had to go out because I had to post the winners. Yeah, Jane and Leslie's bits have been posted off. Girls, when they arrive, please do kindly let me know. You can either do it on one of the videos on here or let me know in the emails that your parcels have arrived safely. Okay? <laughs> okay, right. So, um, I had to go out and do... Is there someone coming in my door? One minute. Someone is coming in the door. How dare that disturbation. There was somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you a story. Not a day though, all right? Maybe in one of my other halls. It's about a friend of mine, yeah? Because I still got to show you my photos, yeah? I've got like a load of photos from when I was young, when I looked up Pamela Anderson. Do you know what I mean? They could have put me in a red suit. Imagine me in a red suit now. I'd look more like Blunder Woman from Russ Abbott's show. Do you remember? If you don't remember it, Google Blunder Woman. That's me, yeah? She dressed up as uh, Wonder Woman. All right? Well, that's what I'd look like, Blunder Woman. Yeah? Okay? With this scut bucket and this flat sponge pop square pants bum. Anyhow, anywho. So, I had to post the ladies' bits off. So, I thought, wow, while I'm down the old town, I might have a little mosey in the old charity shop. So, I did. They were calling me, Lee. So, come in. Anyhow, so... Excuse me, I've got a schnoz bucket. So anyway, I went in to a couple of them and I'm going to show you exactly what I got. <coughs> oh dear. I've been like a good one. Right, now these I got for $3.99. Now you might actually say to me, Lisa, there's no tag on them. No, there ain't. Because they were a bit dirty underneath. A bit too dirty. In fact, I should have took a picture of them really and showed you. So you'd know what I mean. So I only got them yesterday. They, I've got like a, I don't know if you've seen them. You can get them for two pounds in savers. They're like nets. They look like little nets with zips and you can chuck your bras in or shoes, whatever it is you want to get. Get whatever you want to put in. So anyway, I did. I washed them. So they're like Balenciagas, yeah? Believe it or not, they have been washed. I can promise you. They were, when I say this bit round here was black, they were filth. But other than that, oh, well, oh, <coughs> dear they smell divine that's me coughing because i've got so much soap powder in them oh, i use too much soap powder i ain't gonna lie i ain't i ain't but anyway so i see them for three i did say 3.99 3.99 um and uh, i thought do you know what they'd be really comfy um especially with the old osteoarthritis you know so I thought, can't go wrong, can you? 3 99 So I picked them up. And like I said, I whacked him in the machine last night. The machine was going... Brum, brum, brum. I was going to be worried because it was making such a racket. But it was all right. So there. So I've got them first. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me just stretch out my gammy leg. I've got a gammy leg. I've got a gammy leg. It's so gammy. My gammy leg. Treat myself. <laughs> it's about my gammy leg, all right. I've got a phone call tomorrow. I've got a phone call tomorrow from the talk. They're called Talking. I apt Talking Therapies. Um, I'm going to get serious now. I'm going to get a little bit serious with you all, right? Because they're phoning me between three and four. Now, I can't go in depth of parts of my OCD. And I'll tell you why I can't. You see, OCD is hereditary as well i believe and Callie has it really bad too now what happens with ocd say for example how do i put it there's so many different versions of ocd you wouldn't even believe there's people uh, that have religious ocd there's people that have uh they have to count things ocd there's people that have the most hideous thoughts that i don't even want to say the word on here and they believe that they're this type of person there's so many things, but what happens is Callie is very impressionable. So the thing is, her OCD is already bad and she watches these videos. Hi, baby, because I know she's going to be watching. She watches my videos over and over again. Um, and so if I tell you some of the things, she's so impressionable. When you have OCD, that bully in your brain 
will pick up on other people's OCD and then you can start believing you're having these thoughts or feelings so there's a lot of stuff that I, I, even though I would like to tell you all I really would because I don't care you know me I'll tell you anything I just don't care you, to me you're all my mates so I don't care you know, if you ask me questions or whatever or if, it, if any of you wanted to find out because I don't care I'll tell you but you'd have to email me so that it's just private between me and you so that you know, it's not impressionable on anybody else. Or there could even be someone else who watches OCD. I um, watches OCD. Bloody hell, Lisa, get it. Who watches me, who has it. And sometimes it's not... Maybe, you know, I sit and think about it and I think, was that the right thing to say? Should I have said that? Because if someone has it, it you can be very impressionable. And at the, at the end of the day... Um, it is no fun. And you will probably sit on here and think, oh, look at her. She's all right. She's laughing, joking, joking. I do do that. And I can have a laugh. And I can have a joke. And I still am human. I still want to do these things. But when I'm on here, it takes my mind off things for a very short time. I was so ill, so ill, so, so, so ill, that when I first got my OCD, I was getting brain zaps from the sertraline that they put me on. And my mum and dad had to look after me for, th for three months. Um, I went and I lived with them. And if it wasn't for them, I don't even want to, like I say, I don't, my, Callie, I don't want to say, but Callie remembers that time. It wasn't a good time. Um, and until they found me the right medication, which is what I have now, which is I'm on something called clomipramine and they work for me. Yes, Axel, I know you're in there. I'm probably going to have to stop it and go and shut the door. Um, but like I said, I don't really you know, want to tell you in depth how bad my OCD is. Well, the people, the IAPS people, they know. So this talking therapy is they're phoning me tomorrow and I've got, to, I think it's a video chat because I've got to join the, the teams, it says. Um, but I cannot take any more pills than what I'm already on for it. And I'm not changing my pills because I know they do work for me you know if i look at me now compared to back when i was with my mum and dad's is a very is it's it's a big difference do you get what i'm saying and people can turn around and they can mock people with mental health or depression you know what you must never do that do not judge people because until you've walked even a day in their shoes you can't say and believe me believe me i don't really hate anybody i'm not that type of person but even if I did, I mean, there's people I dislike, I suppose, but I don't hate. Hate is a strong word. Even if I did, I wouldn't wish what I have on any per any person. And I promise you all that. And like I say, unless, you know, it's like when people have a broken arm, broken leg, oh, well, look. But you've got something that's not quite right up here and people can't see it. And they're like, oh, just get over it. No, you just can't just get over it. That is, sorry, I sound a bit aggressive there. <laughs> I'm not having a go at you lot. I'm just saying no you can't so please take this from me if anyone don't ever say oh look that person's nutty or they're a nut job try and be kind and think to yourself what they're going through do you know do you know do you know what I mean because I can assure you if you went through it you'd be like I never ever I never knew and to be fair neither did I really until it hit me like a ton of bricks and then I knew. So now if people do have anything, you know, just please get the help you need because without it, it's... Anyway, I've got my phone call tomorrow. I don't, I don't want to go into too much. I've already said too much, to be honest. Um, I've got my phone call tomorrow and let's see if they can start helping me. Uh, you know, they give you a lot of homework, really, essentially. Like, they'll tell you to do the trigger, like... Not tell you through the triggers, but if thing ugh, I can't tell you, so I'm saying I can't. Tell, I'm so sorry, guys, but I can't. I can't tell you that part of it. If you want to know, email me. Um, and there's certain other things that they uh, will tell you to do, or try and make you stop doing them. And what? Why they do that? They try and make you see that if you stop doing that, and everything's all right, you see you can do it because everything is all right. But an OCD brain does not think like that. Um, in fact, I don't know if you've ever watched... Uh, right, so Callie watches them all the time. There's a man called John Quinones. And I think this is only aired in America. 
um, but it's called what would you do so if you go on youtube and put what would you do ocd waiter you'll see how it is for a person with ocd and it's a really good show we watch all all of them all the time me and Callie. go and watch it and let me if you do watch it let me know what you think and when i look at the fella who's being portrayed there i'm like mm, yeah, yeah he's got it quite bad but mine's so much worse <laughs> but um like i say Enough of the bloody morbi morbid, morbi morbidity. There's no such word, I've just made it up. Morbidity, all right? I'm going to get back to me or ego now. Hi! <laughs> get on with my charity shop haul. Right, so anyway, after all that jibber jabber, I'm going to get on with what else I've got. Anyway, did I say where I got them from? They was from, sorry, Age UK. Right. Anyway, and then I went into the Fertility Foundation I found this little shopping trolley. Look, it says M&S Food. Good old Marks and Sparks. Look, that's about all I could afford of M&S Food. And all in that size trolley. <laughs> you're like, you get a couple of bits, you're like, 30 quid? Bleeding expensive, I tell ya. Anyway, that was £1.50. Uh, I just thought Callie might like it. I'll tell you what I've got it for her for. She buys, obviously, uh, Shawnee's treats. So she can, like, stack his niblets up in there. Like on the side, I just thought it'd look really cute for showing his bits. He's brand new. Look, someone had got it from. Oh, it's from Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers, my little trolley. Oh, oh, it, that bit even opens. Look, how cute. Let's go shopping. <laughs> right, so that was that. Um, anyway, then I see this. Uh, this was also in the fertility van foundation foundation on the bric-a-brac section and it was one pound fifty and it is this gorgeous princess aurora says it there look princess aurora mug so it's pink on this side and blue on this side because that was the you know her dress i know you i walked with you once upon a dream is that the words I know you, the gleam in your eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, Sleeping Beauty, because that's Princess Aurora, all right? So her dress goes from pink to blue as she's dancing around because the fairies keep changing it if you've watched it. Obviously, it's old school, this one. But obviously, <clears throat> as you all know, I've got my two birds, Axel and Aurora. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get this cup for my Princess Aurora, which is my little Tara Pora in there. So, yeah, and that was £1.50, so I got that. <coughs> I don't know why I keep, like, getting a, like, tickly, since I smelt the bean powder, I think, on them. And, uh, yeah, someone's calling me now. I'm going to have to, um, one minute, I might have to answer it. Oh, well, this hall's turning out to be an absolute nightmare. That was Callie on the phone having a rant and a rave. Uh, she has a new manager. She told the manager she specifically had to be out by a certain time today. And literally, she is practically running the shop by herself. She asked him to do one thing, which he never done. So she had to do it. It made her late. She said, I'm, practic I'm literally running this shop by myself. She's only little, you know what I mean? And the shop's a big shop. And she said, this manager can't do the drinks and can't do this, that and the other. He's only been there a couple of days. And I think she might have got a little bit cross with him. But um, oh, I suppose you're going to, you know. You can't expect one person to run a whole massive shop, can you? But anyway, that's another story. So I'll get back on to me all. She might tell you in her sheen hall. <laughs> uh, anyway, so then I went into... Oh, no, I didn't went into. I was still in. In the Fertility Foundation. And this was £4. Now, it is a size... 14 and you're like that ain't gonna fit over your bucket well let me tell you it will because it's stretchy but i thought it was really nice i like the colors in it and like you know i'm always look look how stretchy that is that'd fit big daddy do you know what i mean so it's definitely gonna fit me if you're one of them wrestlers big show um yeah so i thought it was really nice it's a nice as a beach cover up as well or like you know when it's warm i thought it was really nice so yeah so i got that Looks practically new, to be honest with you. Uh, and then I went to Keech. 
and these were these are from originally from something called Lascana and they were four pound size 18 now I think they might be a bit big for me uh, around the bottom half but obviously they'll fit me around the gut buck heath but they are cycling they're not cycling shorts they're three quarter length but they're the disco leggings I do love a disco legging oh I do but look how big it is around the bottom it's going to be might be a bit ankle swingery on my legs like a bit baggy but yeah so I love these I really love these kind of things so I got them four pounds <laughs> and then uh when I got home I let me do this up so you can see how beautiful they are uh, I'd ordered these off of Vinted um because they were really cheap uh I think she wanted if I remember about three pound fifty and I offered her £2.50. I thought she was going to say, on your bike, sweetheart. But she accepted. What a lovely girl. So they are very furry shoes for going out. I don't know why, but when I look at them, I think of the honey monster. Give me some honey, mommy. Do you remember the honey monster for sugar puffs? <laughs> I would look like the honey monster in them. But they're nice, aren't they? You know, I like originally from misguided brand new as well but i like um quirky things like things that are different i like you know i don't know how i quite like them flat like that or poofy i don't know there's probably a lot of you saying Lise, really would you why would you put them on your feet but i would and i will because <laughs> i like quirky things or things that are different and i tell you they're definitely different not many people would be seen dead in them apart from me that's probably why she put them down she thought i've got to get rid of them bleeding things no one else is gonna want them oh look twato here is gonna buy them and i did uh anyway so that's the last of that stuff but i've got to show you this it come through today now uh it's called ladies comprehensive care group hair trimmer eyebrow trimmer nose hair trimmer shaver nail care facial care it does bleed and everything seven in one and it's the full edition and it's by this chem chemi 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 i chemi i chemi i i don't know i don't know how to say it ladies comprehensive care group group spelled g-r-o-u-p anyway might mean something else i don't bleed no uh anyway so the reason i got it for her is because Callie has a special gene i don't know if i might have told you this before it comes actually from me and it means that she's super duper hairy like a little monkey so uh she waxes and stuff but literally i'm not even joking she could wax in the morning and by the evening the hairs are coming back again and she does have a few so anyway this apparently when i read it because she was thinking of getting ipl was it ipl laser treatment but it's so expensive like over a thousand pounds or something like that something with dick um so i thought you know what let's see how good this is so i've got this for her um so she'll be back soon once she's back she can have a look at it. But it might need charging because anyway so it comes like this as you can see all one of the things falling out um and then it has all these different uh attachments there's that one i don't quite know what it's for this one looks like it's for nails uh that again that is a shaver and it of some sort that one is for the old schnoz bucket. I'm going to have a go at my schnoz, I'll tell you. She's going to be like, Mum, you bought it for me. I'm not saying I've got here a schnoz, but I'm going to try. Uh, again, that's like a razor. Um, what in the good Lord is this? I ain't got a weavers, mate, I tell you. I haven't got a weavers, what that is for. Well, I suppose it would help if I looked at the old instructions. But anyway, so there's the little uh, machine or whatever you want it is, you want to call it. Oh. Okay, so I've turned it on. Little green lights on. And 
This is the one for taking the airs off. Really big. Right, hang on. How do you take the attachment off? Do you know what I should do? Read instructions. I am really terrible for reading instructions. Hang on. Let's have a look. Eyebrow trimmer. Oh, that's the eyebrow trimmer head. Callus remover head. Oh. Ooh, I'll be using that. I've got hard skin so hard you can walk on hot coals. That one is for your calluses on your feet, on your plates. Facial cleanser head, which is that one. So I suppose you could just put like a bit of scrub on or whatever. Shaving head, nose hair trimmer. That's the one I just got over there. Air clipper. Oh, it's for your hair, that one. And then sideburns. Sideburns? It's meant to be a woman's thing. Where's sideburns? Well, I suppose I have as well. Everyone's got sideburns, don't they? Where's mine? They are. They're sideburns. I suppose I could shave them off, but I won't. Um, so let's have a look. Functions and use. I just want to see how you undo. No. Lower. Tips and charging. Sideburns. Eyebrow. Callus. It's just telling you how to use them all, but... Indicator light, switch button, USB charging. Yeah, but he ain't telling you how to take the bleeding thing off. Hang a minute. Oh, what is it? Do you reckon it's... Screws off. Oh, I hope so. Oh. Oh, hang about. Gold, I ain't done that right. Oh, don't say you've broken it, you twat. Oh no. Oh, that's it. I thought I'd broken it for a minute. I was going to be pissed. Right. Let's try my schnozzer, alright? Here we go. Can you hear that noise? means it was taking a few. I ain't got a lot of airs up my schnoz, do you know what I mean? Mm, I mean, I suppose until it's fully charged, you know, I can't really say. But that's how it comes off, like that, look. Let me show you. Like that, and then you twist it, and it comes off. Then I'm going to put this other one back on. Oh, come on. On you go, my little love. Don't annoy me. Oh, God, blimey. Oh, that's it. That's it. So that's it. So that's what I bought cows. Anyway, my foot have got pins and needles in. Can you see that? My foot, my foot has pins and needles in. Um, and my knees hurting me, so I, you know, I've got to go, really. Anyway, listen, if this is uh, the kind of thing that you like, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, and please hit your notification bell because it'll tell you every time they alarm me uploads. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all my existing subscribers and to all my new ones, uh, and for all your lovely comments, it does mean the world to me. Yeah, and I love you all very much, and I shall see you in my next video.